Hey, hello guys, this is Karthik from XVRAudimation.com and this is part 13 of our Android app automation with Robotium series. And in this part, we are going to start automating our hybrid application which we developed in part 12. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 12 since this part is going to be a continuation of that part. Alright, so automating hybrid applications, we're not going to discuss anything theory here, so let's directly jump into our Eclipse. So this is the project which we created in our last video of this video series. So if you haven't watched, I would request you to please watch that because that video is fully very dependent for this video. All right. So this is the application which we developed in our previous video of this video series. And as you can see, I just clicked something and it came up here. All right. So you can go home. And even if you come back to this application once again from your menu, you can directly go into this application. So our application is here. So if I click this, you can see that it's again bringing us to here. Right? Great. So we are going to automate this application. So instead of execute automation app, I'm going to use, maybe I'm going to change it to a Google web page. Since I already basically know what are the particular object name for those controls. So it is very easy for me to automate that right now. So I'm going to just change it to google.com. All right, great. And now let's start writing the test case for the hybrid application which we developed last video. So for that, I'm just going to go to file, new, others and here you can select the android test project and hit next and you can give the name here as maybe hybrid app test hit next and you can select the application so i'm going to select that and the api level is 19 just correctly selected and i'm going to hit finish all right, great. So now the project is created and I'm going to add the test case here in this package. So which we already discussed in previous videos like while working with the black box testing or also the white box test case creation, right? So if you haven't watched, please go back to the previous videos. Great. So then I'm just going to create a new Android J unit test case. And then here, let's give this as Google search TC. And here you need to give activity instrumentation test case. So let me browse this. You can directly select it and I'm gonna hit finish. All right, this will create one for me. And here, as you already know, that we need to give a main activity. All right, and hit control one. All right, the name of the application is not main activity, it's EA activity. I'm sorry, but it should be EA activity. All right, and then here for this particular error we need to create a constructor right so let's add the constructor and let's delete all those things which we don't require all right instead of activity class i can give ea activity dot class so let this be here all right and then in the setup i'm also going to maybe I'm going to call the solo guy, which is something better a body. So solo, solo. So this solo will not come unless until I reference the robotium jar file, which is not there. So I'm going to set the robotium in the Java build path. So I'm going to hit the external jar, select the robotium jar and select the robotium jar again. I'm just running through all these things very quickly 
because we already discussed about it in previous videos right so I'm just going to import this as well and then here I'm going to call the variable which we created solo solo is equal to new solo of get instrumentation and get activity all right super so then we need to write our actual test case which is nothing but public void test to google uh, all right ah so we need to write our test case so for the first thing we need to do is to get the web view of our application right so get the applications web view and we know that our applications web view name is something like web view right what is that so it is web view main all right great so we can take that so web view view is equal to solo dot get view remember this method we already used in our previous videos while writing the white box test case i'm again calling this method here r dot id okay the r will not come here unless until you import explicitly so import com dot example dot android app dot r all right good so now you will have that web view main all right and then i'm going to set or i'm going to import this web view all right and we need to explicitly cast this so i'm going to hit the cast link here all right so the cast has been added and then i'm going to wait for the web view to fully load up because we already know that the application will access the internet slow than compared to a real device so i'm going to write wait for view and i'm going to set the view wait so the view is nothing but our view and i'm going to wait for three seconds maybe and then i'm going to set false all right and then i'm going to do a very simple thing so if anybody who is from selenium background can easily understand what i'm writing right now so the first and foremost thing i'm going to do is to type the value in the google search right for doing that we need to identify the control and then perform the operation for identifying the control what i'm going to do is i'm using the solo dot get instead of view i'm going to use a method called web element right and here I'm going to use the by class. Remember, the by class is something which we already use in Selenium as well. So the same thing I'm going to use here. So by dot name of the name of the search text box, I know that it is Q. So I'm going to pass that. And the index is going to be zero. So this is the first one. I'm going to perform the operation right so the web view, web element is missing so i'm going to import that one as well all right and then i need to type some value in that so txt search dot set text content this is the method which sets the text into the control which is found in the txt search right and then the content is going to be execute automation all right great i'm going to save this and then i need to click on the button so for doing that i'm just going to copy paste this code for the sake of time
and then I'm going to call this as BTN search and the name of the button is BTN G and I need to click this button so for that there is no method available for this particular control rather you can use solo dot click on web element and here you can pass the element name which is nothing but btn search all right hit control s to save and now the code for performing the search operation in the google page is done and now let's try to run this test and see how it works so i'm going to run as and select the android j unit test so this should run the test in your android application all right so seems like it has opened the application and the web page is also loaded great it is waiting for three seconds oops seems like it did nothing hmm. so what i'm going to do right now is instead of txt source text content uh, let me change it other way like solo dot type text in web element maybe this should work txt search of the string is going to be execute automation all right that should be fine and all right there is a typo here all right and now the code looks good maybe i also suspect that since the application is slow it's throwing us this kind of errors so i'm going to hit this breakpoint and now let me try to run this in debug mode and i'm going to debug this as android j unit application and see how this works and as we already know that the application under test is very slow in the emulators compared to the real device and the web view is very very slow so for that reason to prove the point that we are really automating the hybrid application i'm just putting a breakpoint there instead of putting the hard-coded wait statements and we'll still see if this really works and now you can see that the application is loaded and the breakpoint has hit but still the application is not fully loaded so which proves that the application is very slow and this statement is executed before the application is fully loaded all right and now let's press f6 to step over all right and now you should see that the execute automation should have typed see it's typed all right and now it should be searched so again i'm going to press f6 f6 what happened all right see so the execute automation is being searched so which means the test case is now running fine as expected all right great so this is how you can automate the hybrid application using Robotium. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.